Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, the Woke Gamer back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different in this video, something that I usually don't kind of do or whatever. Um, but we're gonna be doing something that I find this is probably gonna make it could be a fun video to do, as we're gonna be reading worst fast food reviews, one star reviews on you know like McDonald's, KFC, whatever. You know, those places, you know, we're going to be reading one star reviews from fast food restaurants in this video today. And if you guys do enjoy this video and you guys want to make this a series, let me know in the comments down below. I will do that. Depends how good this video does. And just make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As yeah, and by the way, keep in mind, these are not reviews I'm reading from that's around my location. I'm just picking out random places around the world. Or, you know, around the states or whatever to pick out of, you know, uh, you know, these places. So, like, for, like, for Florida, like, I don't live in Florida, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pick out some pl places in Florida to read these reviews. So, yeah, it's gonna, should be a, should be a fun video to make. As, yeah. All right. So, this says really bad service. Cashier in the window is racist with Hispanics and very rude. Don't care about the customers. Don't know why she's got a job. <laughs> Need to learn how to treat customers. Control her temper. Ooh, got a little triggered. Jeez. Okay. Uh, managers can't handle their employees and can't manage to control their attitudes. Who knows who's boss there? They have videos recorded, and I will get those copies with my lawyer to show how aggressive and disrespectful they are to the customers. Yikes, that does not sound good, but come on now. Are you going to really take this to court now? Are you serious? You're going to really, are you really going to just like, you know, take this stuff to court? Is this some? I don't think I've ever seen this before, actually, where, you know, you get people treating you, you know, not you know, they're being rude or whatever, the the employees, like, you're going to really get the lawyers involved with this? Like, come on now. Like, I really hate people that are like this, where it's like, oh, I'm going to be doing this because of this or whatever. Like, you know, it's kind of like, you're going to go a little too extreme with it. I personally think so. Yeah, but my car was broken on their parking in their parking lot. The staff wasn't interested at all in the event and they have no CCTV cameras or overlooking parking lot. Avoid stopping there if you carry anything of value in your car. Okay, come on now. Okay, I don't think this is the staff's fault for it or, you know, because they're trying to, technically they're trying to run a business and whatnot and there's, they're saying, this this person's saying that, oh, oh, they're not interested in this. Oh, they don't care. I mean, we're just trying, they're trying, I think, I kind of don't blame the the employees in the situation. Like, you know, we're not responsible for anything that happens to your vehicle or whatever. It shouldn't be, I don't think, or whatever it is. So it's like, you know, hey, if your vehicle's broken down, you call freaking you know tow truck or whatever but you know like is like what if there was an accident or whatever that happens in the parking lot like with some guy you know hits some other guy or whatever and you know it's kind of where it's like hey you know should take the police involved with it you know they're they the, the employees from kfc are not responsible to call the cops on you or call the cops and like hey there's there's an accident in our parking lot that's not their, that's not a responsibility for that. They're just trying to, they're running a business, they, they're trying to run a business, like, they, so, and there's some places that don't have cameras in their parking lot, so, you know, it kind of sucks, but it, but there are places like that, so I think this person should really just, you know, I would say, you know, it's not, it's not the staff's responsibility for, in this situation, I feel like. So, no hate to the employees in this in this review. We just did KFC. A Burger King now this time. So, and the first one that I literally see is this one that comes up. B 
beware food poisoning. <laughs> My wife and friend ate here to ate here the other night, and both experienced severe stomach cramps. Twenty four hours later, my friend is is still experiencing twenty or stomach pain from undercooked burgers. Oh, geez, that does not sound good. What a way to start that off. Okay, I'm a former employee. This one says I'm in. A, I'm a former employee, yo. This place has a major mold issues and a recent amount of rash ro roaches. Oh, I recommend not eating here if you care about not getting sick. That is disgusting. Oh, roaches. Oh my gosh. I hope this person's true. He's, this person says he's a former employee that worked there. That's That's crazy, bro. Holy crap. But anyway, guys, I am going to wrap up this video here, so if you guys want more of these kind of videos, please let me know in the comments down below, and I will do more of these. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below, and tell me, what, tell me if you guys want more of these, and if you guys want me to make this series, let me know. I have no series really planned except for my podcast thing I do every Friday. So let me know if you want more of these and subscribe if you're new to the channel. As yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you later with another video. Peace out.